Well, good evening, world. I'm just um, just watching the video about this little gray pit bull pup got dropped off in front of a dog shelter. Had to have been like six months old, maybe even older, and the thing weighed less than 28 pounds. Well, it just couldn't even hold its own head up. You know, them pit bulls got them big old heads. It's the cutest thing in the world when you don't dock their ears and all that good crap. But anyway, you know, one thing makes me more mad about anything, and I have to pray to the Lord. I know they're just simple beasts, but they're so amazing. So much joy. Why do people get dogs and think that they're going to be easy? Like, if you're going to have a dog, they're not easy. They're harder than kids. You can't just give them, get a babysitter for them. You can't do any of that stuff. Like, at the same point, they're not human beings. And all they want to do is love their master. It's kind of like the the perfect thing, you know? Like, for a man, at least. I'm, I can't speak for women. I know my mom loves dogs. I know my, my wife and every other female I know loves dogs. But I just don't understand why things like that have to go down. You can see all this other stuff, like, but, you know, a lot of it isn't, you know, you see the dog fighting and all that other stuff. Yeah, I get it. It's out there. But the reason why all these dogs are dying and are in these shelters and are just, like, the most disgusting thing in the world is because normal people just can't handle shit. You see it all the time. Everywhere you go, see people with their dog just dragging them down the street. Like, you know, that dog's going to bite somebody. Like, and even if it's not, like, a dog that has that much energy and is real nice, they're going to end up hurting a kid. Well, it's all fun and games when they're pups, people, but there's a lot of power and energy, and they have teeth, and they can hurt. Even small dogs can hurt, you know? So don't be that person. If you are, if you're thinking about getting an animal or anything like that, be sure you're ready for it. Make the commitment. And then stick to it. Just like if you're getting married or something, you're going to have kids. I get it. It's never a good time to have kids, but... If you're thinking about having kids, make sure you're ready. Make sure you're going to have to give that commitment for the rest of your life to try to guide them along so they can have a fulfilling life. And what better way to do it than have a dog around some kids that is well trained and loved. That's just my spiel for today. Sorry if I hurt your feelings if you're a dog person but um yeah make sure you're ready yeah a dog can't just sit inside day in day out it needs to get out and do stuff if it's a if it's a certain type of breed it probably needs to get out and do what it was bred for you know otherwise what's the real point of keeping that breed alone you know so yeah, think about it. Know what kind of dog you need. Not just the one that is the, the prettiest or the cutest. Do your research. Talk to people that know dogs. Not people that are trying to sell you dogs. People that know dogs. God bless world. Stay strong. I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. Good night.